Hello everyone, welcome back to Lawrence Place Victorio Angel Bobs. And I'm going to carry on directly from where I got to in the last episode. Which, let's see, um. What was I doing? Okay, so I've finished these off. That's fine, that's done. They appear to be working. Ah, uh, yes, I need. So I need a belt of copper ingots, which is what comes out of one of these. So I need to build another thing of these down here. And then run that all the way back along here and down here somewhere. Okay, how many blue be uh, yellow belts do I have? 300. How many belts do you have? None. Lots of grey belts though. Okay, let's go and get some more belts. So much junk. Why do I have so much junk? And why is there everything's in a different order now as well, just to make things more confusing. I mean, lots of this is useful, but I don't need to be holding it all, all the time. Here we are, copper processing. So what we're going to do here... Ah, okay, we'll pull off this one. Because it's here, so it makes sense to. It's here and unused. I want to have enough space to have another one of them. I think running off this. So it means I need to be a lot further down. Um, presumably I'm going to need this coal feed as well. Yes, that's because that is for this stage. <laughs> There's something very satisfying about using grenades to clear trees. Even though I've got level I don't know what steel axe, I can get rid of them fairly quickly by one at a time, it's still very satisfying to do use the grenades. <laughs> I suppose unlike the um, iron, I could do these on do this on a single belt, but never mind, I seem to be doing it on two now. Oh, this takes oxygen. There's oxygen, yes, that is oxygen. Okay. Well let's pull it from here as well for why not? Okay, so I need that bit, and then those inserters, instead of putting it onto into another machine, we'll put it onto a belt. I don't have any inserters. I should have got more inserters. Don't have any power poles. Definitely need to get more power poles. Are they things I'm automatically requesting? Yeah. Okay, this is another part of the user interface that's changed a bit, which is why I'm looking at it and going, what? <laughs> there we go. Suddenly it all works. Now we need a very long belt going from here. Half of these should be other side inserters, of course. Uh, far side belt. This is going to be one of those ridiculous, ridiculous belts that sweeps across the entire landscape and makes me go, "What on earth am I doing?" But never mind. at least until that happens. What's the range on one of these things? Not enough. What about on a red one? No. Oh, uh, no, that's bad. <laughs> so easy to make mistakes like that. Then accidentally join belts together, which shouldn't be. Okay, so, after all that, we now have a supply of iron uh, ingots and a supply of copper ingots coming into this system, where we also have all of the, all of the other ingots. So what I'm planning to do is have them come across as sort of a horizontal bus across here. Um, yes, all of them. And that way I can split off and make more metal types from anything, anywhere I feel anywhere I feel like it. Let's get rid of this cliff though. Because that's just gonna get in the way. Over here. Start off with this one. I've got a lot of metals here. <clears throat> Let's do this with fast ones, because then I can get that much reach. I don't know if this is excessive, but I feel like it might be required. <laughs> Oh, of course, this is this is massive overkill. Because um, this should be getting one shorter with each... Oh dear, I didn't... That's a bit of a waste. So that one isn't needed. That one isn't needed. Or the one under it. That one. That one. That one. Or any of this. No, stop it. <laughs> oh, through sheer coincidence. That's actually the perfect number. Okay, that's all going to get built automatically by my other robots. That's fine. Okay, so you can, as you can probably tell, this bit across here will, once it finishes all building and, and filling up, will be a metal bus. And so that's going to allow me to turn these ingots into other metals, because quite a lot of them can be combined with other things to make new, wonderful, glorious holes as we've um, previously seen. 
Okay, so as we see here, there are various ways of making um, making steel ingots. You can either do straight. Hang on, I should. Ah, right. Okay, there's only one way to make steel ingots, but once you've got steel ingots, you can make steel plates out of them in multiple ways. I'm wondering if I've made a bit of a bit of a mistake here in keeping things as ingots for the um, stations above and whether I should just be shipping them out as plates. Let's look at aluminium as another example. Okay, now they, they, the, the ingots do get used for a few other things. Well, no, the one other thing is making this alumina and silane gas, which appears to be a, multi a way to multiply silicon ingots. <laughs> Great. I think I've made a mistake here, and I shouldn't be making ingots in all of these stations. I should be making... I should be turning the ingots into plates across here and then shipping them out as plates. However, I don't think that's too much of a problem because it does mean I've wasted a bit of stuff up here. These these systems aren't going to be needed if I change this. But it does but if I yeah, if I just turn everything into plates, that's probably going to be better. We'll see how that goes, shall we? And it won't be too much effort to, to switch them over because I think there's room in there to fit in a couple of these systems. Where are they? Take that. And I can put that in here. Probably twice over. There isn't room to put it that way. Yeah, if I put that there. No, put it put it there. And again there. Remove tidy up a little bit like that. I'll stick in a couple of these splitters. Okay, yeah, that'll work. So that will take Take the gold ingots that are coming up here. In fact, I don't need any of this. That'll work. That'll convert the gold into the appropriate other... In, the the uh, plates into not plates. Okay, that seems okay. So if I remove all of this and all of... Oh, a bit lower. <coughs> okay, that collides because there's... I should put that, put that, I should put that there. Right. Yes, that should be... should do it. And now all of these will have plates. So what I'm going to do in a few minutes is go through and just manually unload all of these warehouses. And there's only there's only like 10 of them, so that's not going to be too painful. And then I can just shove... once these are built, I can shove the ingots into the into the smelters to turn them into, into the appropriate metals. And that should should solve it sort it out quite nicely. And then down here, I can carry on pulling out all of the different um, individual metal ingots and turning them into things like steel and cobalt steel and whatever else I happen to need. Yeah, that feels feels quite neat, I think, and like it might actually work. Oh look, the um oh no no it's just the copper that's flowing through. I thought the I thought the iron had started flowing again, but no such luck there. <laughs> it's still gumming up all of those. But, oh well. Okay, so that's kind of done, but it's now a waiting game, waiting for all the bots to come over and, and build it all up for me, and that's going to take quite a long time because bots are slow and they have to bring things all the way from up here. And Yeah, look how slowly they're moving because they've all got flat batteries. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so while, that's wait, while we're waiting for that, let's have a look at construction bots too. Yeah, these ones. I want to get up to a cursor. 4B, should we say? Presumably the fusion powered ones don't need recharging or something. I don't know. We'll 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 find out later. So construction robot two need a construction robot already. They need a fly robot frame frame two. <laughs> so they're an entire construction bot one and an entire it's all the things you need to build a construction bot one all over again. But version mark two of it. Okay. Aluminium. That's not too bad. That's not bad at all. This is manageable. Well, it's not manageable yet because I don't have aluminium as a proper supply. But once this is all this is finished and I decide I like it and it's good and I'm happy, then it'll be manageable. <laughs> I'm going to have to start splitting off sub factories for construction, I think. Having things like having all of this hanging off the edge of the bus is it's a nice idea, but it it feels unwieldy and then very hard to expand. So I've got construction bot 1 being built here to expand that off to make construction bot 2 as well I don't know it would be rather difficult why is that stopped oh there's no electric engines coming through why are there no electric engines coming through because there's no lube why is there no lube 
<laughs> Why have I run out of lube? Where is there no time for lubricant? Of course it's empty. It's, of course it's empty all the way. Um, right, it's because these purple things have backed up completely. I kind of knew that was going to happen, but I... This? No. Oh no, it's not even that. Although they have backed up and that is silly and I should get rid of them. But this, machi this machine up here is still capable of running. It's these have run out of residual gas. <laughs> I think it might be time to um, stop playing for a little while and let my brain um, recover. Okay, I'm going to make a few notes here because there's this. this um, I don't want to forget what I'm trying to do at this point. Okay, so yes, I've run into a sort of. Uh, I'm going to call it call it uh, an episode here because we've. I've done. I don't know. Have I done much? I've spent quite a lot of time fiddling with things. Does any of that count? What are my achievements? Well, I've got attacked twice and boost, um, beefed up the defences a little bit. Things I've actually done... I've I've ensured that I won't... that my, I'll have a steady drain on my um, copper and iron ore by setting up these wiring systems along here. That's what, that, was, that was useful. And I've redesigned this bit here to get the... Um, to get the metals outputting as plates rather than as, as ingots. And I think that is going to be a much better idea in the long run. It's going to work much more effectively. So it's not been a... I, I've done stuff, but I feel it hasn't been an enormously productive episode. Hopefully the next one will be um, a bit better, where I'll get this finished off. I'll have a look into how to make the various different circuits and the different types of bots and have some diagrams for those as well, so I can actually start working on them. Um, but until then, well, I'll uh, I'll leave this running for a bit so that the bots can finish everything off as well. I think because there's quite a lot of the, there's a, a huge amount of building work to do here. Um, oh, and I need to sort out the lube supply for the uh, for the bot, bot production and electric engine production in general. So there's a few things to do there, but nothing that's unsurmountable. Um, I hope you'll join me for the next episode where I'll tackle those. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.